Hello guys and welcome to your pick a card reading. I know it's been like five or six days since I posted a video but I was sick and I did mention that in my last video I literally just recorded another video for the Enchanted Oracle deck so if you didn't watch that check that video out. The Enchanted Oracle deck is now available so I'm going to post that a link to that video for more information on the Enchanted Oracle deck in the description box for you guys okay. But anyways, I want to go ahead and get started with your pick a card reading. I want to just see what's the energy that you're in now and what's the energy that's coming into your life, okay? And then I'm going to pick um, an advice card for you to raise your frequency. What's your advice, okay? So, so group number one, you're going to have this item. This is group number one and this is group number two, okay? So one or two. And the timestamps are down below in the description box. All right, guys. So really quickly, I'm going to pull the cards for both really quickly. Wow. Okay, so for group number one, let's go ahead and get started. So the first card you have here is number 16, the Blasted Oak. And this is from the Wildwood to Row. Now, this is the energy you have in your life right now. So, it's an energy almost of like what you thought was bringing you security or what you thought was secure in your life um, is being illuminated as not, as not being secure. This is almost like the tower card for this deck. So currently, you're, there's a few different messages. And the reason why I get a few different messages for my pick-a-card readings is because they are general messages. So I try to tap into multiple people's energies and what they're going in through. So one message here. Okay, so something for some of you happened suddenly. Um, and this could have been the recent past or this could be like, you know, something that's going to happen very soon. Even though this is your present energy, this is something that it's like, you know, the time frame can vary a little bit. It can be like coming very soon, just happened, or you're going through it now. But for some of you, it's coming through as a sudden shift, a sudden, for some of you, it's just a sudden realization. But most of the time, the sudden realization is brought on by cat, I don't want to say catastrophic events, <laughs> but it can be catastrophic events. Um... For some of you, it's hearing news about somebody um, that's going to make you, like, it's going to wake you up. It's going to shake you awake. For some reason, that's coming through for some of you. Something about news, which I don't always get with this card, but that's coming up today. For others of you, it's like you had put all your eggs in one basket. You placed a bet all on one horse, and... And it turns out that that horse didn't win. It turns out that that basket fell and broke and all your eggs broke. So that's kind of the energy coming through here for some of you. It's like you thought something was going to pan out a certain specific way. And, and perhaps it didn't. But my guides are here saying that whatever... You know, for some of you, it's like you lost something even physically. For others of you, you lost relationships or some sort of business deal or whatever the case is. It's like something that you really wanted or you thought you had that you're realizing you don't have or it's being taken away from you or was taken away from you. But whatever this is, whatever this energy is that is trying because it, it's almost like an energy either has left your life or an energy that is trying to leave your life and and some of you are resisting that but it doesn't matter how much you fight it because the universe is saying no if it's not meant to be then it won't be so here's the lightning bolt coming down from the universe not out of anger not out of out malice or hate or anything or or you know um it's not an energy of punishment because <laughs> it's never about punishment it's an energy of just taking that away from us that no longer serves us and this lightning bolt once it strikes whatever is taken away or burned away um honestly is for the best in the long run even though it may not look like that now um 
But as soon as this happens, it's also providing you with a sense of illumination, a sense of clarity, um, and you can see things for how they really are, but also see things for how they really were. So it's almost like 2020s, hindsight 2020, something like that, that saying. <laughs> so it's a process of illumination, but also clearing away, but not, I, I'm feeling like it's not so much clearing away by choice as much as it is clearing away well actually there's that's the second message coming in so for the first message is like something is being cleared away from your life so you're starting to notice like people becoming more distant or um just things just shifting out of your life you know maybe you got fired maybe you ended a relationship whatever the case is there are things leaving your life and it can be a little hurtful because it's it's things that you've known for a while for a lot of you um, or people or situations, but it's only clearing the way for new growth and for this new growth to create a stronger foundation for you this time, the second time around. For some of you, it is by your choice clearing away this old energy. And it's almost like for you guys, the thunder strike was within the lightning strike was within your mind. Um, it's almost like the universe gave you this lightning strike of clarity. <laughs> and because of that, then you're taking action and clearing away things that no longer serve you. For some of you, you could be going through this energy and could have been going through this energy for quite some time. Like I said, it's going to vary for you guys because it's a general reading. So that's the present energy. And then you've got the Knight of Bows, the Fox, which is energy definitely coming in. Energy you're shifting into now. The Knight of Bows, the Fox. This is an energy of changing your direction. So it's really interesting because it goes hand in hand with this. You know, it's like whatever was illuminated, whatever you now have clarity on um, that has been falling away for a reason or needs to fall away, you are now, with that clarity, are able to make decisions with that clarity you're able to um change your direction some of you might even actually be moving planning to move or in the future will be moving even if you're not planning on it now using your wits using your intellect to get through any obstacles to get past any situations some of you may face obstacles and i'm feeling like it'd be it would be other people um trying to voice their opinions onto you and what how you should live your life um so i see that you know you can get past these obstacles by listening to your inner voice following your truth using your wits and being really cunning but also leaving behind that which no longer serves you within your mind i am seeing especially with this card you know clearing away old thought patterns clearing away old behavioral patterns and then you've got the throat chakra from the Enchanted Oracle deck as your advice card. For the video that I was announcing the availability of the Enchanted Oracle deck, this card came out. Because <laughs> I pulled one card for that video. So let me read it really quickly. This is your advice throughout this uh, shift. It's time to focus on your throat chakra. For too long, you've held your tongue. It's time to speak your truth and not worry about whose feathers you ruffle. It's time to stand in your power. It's time, the time is now for you to get off your knees and let the world hear you roar. So very, very powerful message for these two cards because it's like, you know, I'm also picking up like, especially with the throat chakra um, card that, you guys like maybe in the past you didn't speak up for yourself and it may be something you're still struggling with now and it's almost like some of you this what this is showing up for you guys is an energy of being knocked down by other people um that's just another message coming through here so if you feel like you know other people have like knocked you down or like try to like get under your skin and ruffle your feathers you know then it's like that's an energy you've been battling with and it's almost like a karmic lesson that you've been going through for those of you who've been dealing with that but i see you like you know standing in your power especially by taking the advice of the throat chakra get off your knees you know get off your knees and let them hear your roar it's time for you to stand up for yourself to stand in your power and notice how you feel around specific people you know um 
I'm feeling like there's people who try or who have tried to push their opinions onto you and and it's almost like you valued their opinion over yours or it's almost like their opinion overwrote over was overriding your own opinion but it's time for you here to part of standing in your power and claiming your power back is by speaking your truth standing in your truth claiming your truth and acknowledging your opinion and respecting your own opinion so that's your message guys if you'd like to book a personal reading with me there is a link down below or you can go to www theenchantedone.com um and there is a link down below for the enchanted oracle deck okay you guys have an enchanted day now for message number two so the first card you have is the page of bows stoat so some i'm feeling that you guys have been experiencing a stronger sense of being able to determine what is true just being a lot more intuitive and in touch with knowing what is really true and also like you're coming across to a lot of people right now as like someone who's really unique and just different you know someone who's just really really an individual which is good <laughs> now this is somebody for some of you this is going to represent someone else in your life right now so some of you have come across somebody who is very like you know extroverted and they're really adventurous and they're really intuitive and they just have this like young energy about them Maybe even someone who's very gullible, um, but it's just because they have that young energy. Whatever the case is, this person's like really charming because they're just so unique and they're their own individual and they're so charming. So this can be you right now exuding this energy in your life, or it can be somebody in, come, who came into your life recently um, or who soon is coming into your life. But I'm feeling like it's someone who came into your life recently, if it's somebody else for you um, with this energy. So it's a really good positive energy here. For some of you, if it doesn't represent a person, it can represent some sort of unexpected news. And it may be like some sort of like weird news, kind of like news that will catch you off guard, like wasn't expecting that type of news type of news. <laughs> for others of you, it's just coming through as like some new opportunity. So I see a new opportunity coming in for you guys or it recently came in. Um, and for some of you, it's actually going to be coming in shortly. Um, so that's one message there. But the main energy here is just, you know, being very intuitive and even possibly having like weird, intense dreams or even visions for some of you guys. Or like I said, meeting someone like that. It's meeting someone else who's having visions and, and dreams and stuff. Then the energy coming in for you is number 12, the mirror. So this is an energy of like deep reflection, deep introspection, and um, dive. It's funny because on the bottom of the Enchanted Oracle deck here is dive deep and it's a, a mirror. <laughs> so that's really funny. I'm going to read the meaning for that for, for you in a second, even though that's not the card I pulled for you, but I just noticed that. Um, but anyways, so the energy coming in is just like deep reflection, looking deep within yourself for healing. For a lot of you, it's, you know, for further healing, healing the spirit, healing, healing your soul. And also I'm hearing reaching a new level of awakening through darkness. So it's like you have to go through the darkness within. Like, in other words, do some shadow work in order to reach another level of awakening and spiritual healing. And I'm hearing that some of you guys have been procrastinating this because it's almost like this energy has been like trying to come in. It's like, come on, you got to take care of this baggage you've been carrying around. And you're just like, no, I don't want to deal with it. No, it doesn't exist. No, not me. <laughs> but it's like, stop procrastinating. It's time. It is time to rid yourself of I'm hearing enemies, but it's funny because it's like, it's coming across to me as if like, you know, when people say like, they're out to get me, like, you know, they're against us. And it's like, who's they? <laughs> like, these enemies don't exist. So in other words, dealing with your inner demons and also receiving prophetic dreams, prophetic visions. So on the other side of this spiritual healing and, and diving deep within your soul, diving deep into your subconscious is a re-emergence they're saying re-emergence of your spiritual self and your spiritual abilities okay there we go of your spiritual abilities a lot of you have had spiritual abilities or or dreams or experiences of the supernatural of some kind before 
most of you as a child, but not all of you as a child. Well, it's it's the reemergence of that of your connection to the spiritual world once you reconnect to yourself fully, which means reconnecting with those sides, those parts of yourself that you don't necessarily like. The parts of yourself that you reject. And it's time to flow deep within these waters. And it's funny because with the page of bows, there's like a little water back here in the background. So going from this um, younger, naive energy, still positive, you know, still able to feel the you know your intuitive nudges and your visions and receiving you know visions and dreams but here it's like diving deep and becoming this this new creature transforming meditation will help you greatly if you don't meditate already i definitely recommend you start meditating so that's the energy coming in now it's almost like an expansion of yourself spiritually um development of yourself spiritually and your abilities now really quickly let me read dive deep because that's, you know, that was on the bottom of the deck. And this is the mirror. And it's a mirror. And she's holding a mirror. I mean, come on. <laughs> Too synchronistic to ignore. And it says, It's time to stop and reflect. If you've drawn this card, you're being asked to look deep within to find your true inner beauty and light. There have been people in your life that have gossiped about you and put a false image of you out into the universe. This has affected your self-esteem. Look in the mirror and break through the illusion. The, these people were projecting their own insecurities onto you. They don't know the real you and they don't have the right or the heart to judge you. They are suffering from within and want to spread their suffering so that they don't feel alone. Distance yourself from these people or cut them off if you can and claim your truth. So this is part of the process of diving deep, part of your process of soul scrying, because it's coming up here as soul scrying. Um, so it's almost like part of that. So part of that process is acknowledging the pain and hurt that you have experienced from other people possibly through gossip but whatever it is it's almost like this baggage that you've been carrying around um that has still been affecting you whether small whether a little bit or a lot it's like there's still something there that needs to be um illuminated and released so it's time to go deep within and break through any limiting thought patterns that other people place onto you by de trying to define you in a way that didn't resonate with you. Anyway, so the card that I did pull for you for your advice is celebrate. And I'm going to read that one out of the book. And it says, all of your chakras are coming into alignment, just as you yourself are coming into alignment with your higher self. Now your guides are sending you clear messages. If you haven't received the message yet, go out in nature, meditate, and connect. This is a time for celebration. You're on the right path. Also, if you've been wanting to awaken your spiritual gifts, now is the perfect divine time to do so. <laughs> Follow your guidance Follow your guidance system and watch your world be transformed by magic and wonder. Yeah, that literally is just clarifying everything I just said. So on the other side of diving deep. So step one, dive deep, look within, and you're going to experience this, experience this spiritual development and growth within as uh, an individual, as a human being, as a spiritual being, within your psychic abilities, within your spiritual abilities, whatever title you want to use. Even while you are going and diving deep, you are being called to celebrate. You're being called to enjoy each part of the process, even though it may not be so enjoyable. It's so funny. It sounds a little contradictive, but my guides are saying, in order to find yourself happy or with greater, with greater happiness, you must start by cultivating little moments of happiness now. It starts off with little moments of happiness and then it creates a snowball effect and grows stronger and stronger and bigger. And the snowball has a magnetic, a magnetic force around it. So the bigger the snowball is, the more it is able to attract like energy. 
and it's funny because she's holding this sphere and it kind of looks like a snowball even though it's not a snowball but it's funny but anyways so you need to start by acknowledging what type of snowball are you creating because you're creating a snowball regardless of you know whether it be good or bad you are creating because you're a creator you're creating at every moment at every second you're manifesting with your thoughts with your words with your beliefs with your actions so are you creating a snowball of destruction in other words a snowball that brings you sadness a pessimistic snowball is that a snowball created by energy and focus on things that you don't like or don't have? Or is it a snowball of, of optimism? Is it a snowball of, of focusing on things you, you enjoy? Is it a snowball of gratitude? Because whatever the snowball is, the bigger it gets, the more it attracts the like energy so start today to achieve the goal of great eternal happiness it starts with today with focusing on more positive things so along your journey cultivate happiness along your journey don't wait for the destination to experience that happiness all right so that is your message number two if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com um and there is a link down below for the enchanted oracle deck if you'd like to make your purchase to try to get the first 100 and and that will enter you into the raffle of a free psychic reading you guys have an enchanted day